In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a little wooden bridge for your miniatures. Time for the next bridge. So first problem to solve is how much clearance do I need to have over the bridge? And I would say for this wooden bridge, to have a bit of distance, about seven inches, 18 centimeters. Okay. And my last bridge is about three inches wide. I make this a little bit long wider, about three and a half inches, 90 centimeters, a little bit wider, um, just to have a bit of clearance for the wooden bridge. Now, let's get that out of the way. What I'm gonna use mostly, I've got a big bag of these, a thousand coffee stirrer sticks. Wasn't that expensive, just found them on Amazon, if I'm honest. Uh, you probably pick them up at hobby stores, etc. And that's the main material. And the next one is some um, balsa wood sticks. You get me varying lengths. These are, I don't know how long they are. These are just under three inches, 70 centimeters, 70 centimeters, 70 millimeters. Okay. You'll need a Stanley or a craft knife or some sort of retractable blade that is accurate for cutting. Something to draw, mark, guide. Uh, I'm going to use a bit of super glue today just to speed up a little bit of a process. I haven't got any activator, but it's up to you if you want to use activator. Some PVA glue, craft glue. The first bit I've marked out my first coffee stir stick at the seven inches. I'm just going to chop off the edges, get a nice plank of wood. What I'm going to do to begin with is build the main frame for the structure. Now, you could probably use something else to trim these off, but I just use my knife. So once you've got one, and then just use that as a guide to cut off a few more. It gets quicker and quicker. You probably do two or three at the same time, but for the camera, it kind of helps if you do it like this. See how I'm doing it. All right, next bit. Take your dowel, and this is the post that'll be sitting, uh, well, will be forming the structure over and around. So I've marked up about an inch height for the platform to start building off. And I would say you want an overhang of about three quarters of an inch, two centimeters, okay? Just mark out. There it's going, so you know where you go. Right, with your super glue, be careful. We've all had our little accidents with it. Uh, it's a pain sometimes. But I'm just marking it out, putting a blob either end where I've done my marking. You can use a quick activator, but I've decided not to today. I think, I think baking soda might work. I've never tried it. And just leave that to dry for a bit. And I'm gonna make exactly the same, another copy of this in a minute. So again, mark off two centimeters on the plank, both ends. Make sure your two posts are marked an inch up. Line up on the inside of your marking. All right, now that um, these are dry, you've got two halves of the side of the bridge. Ba -dum, ba -dum. But it's a bit wobbly. So what we're gonna do, turn them over and we're gonna strengthen them. And what I've done, I've marked up two more of the coffee stir sticks, same length as before. And what I'm gonna do is just double it up. So there's a blob. Now on this side of the post, and I'm going to line up my new post at the side of this on here. Just making sure I'm as straight as I can be. As straight as I can be. So I have my two halves of my structure for my bridge. Exactly the same size. Bring my river in just to check. Works. And I've changed my 
width of my bridge, I think I'm going to go for about 12 centimetres, which is about, about four and three quarters of an inch wide. Because I would like to have a little bit of an overhang of the plank and that gives enough space for a column tank or whatever's going to march over it. I'll okay. measuring up some freshly chopped planks, 12 centimetres. Is there? Which is four and three quarters of an inch. Okay. Then next step, I mark a centimetre, quarter of an inch of each side. What I'm going to do is connect the front and the end of the bridge to make a stable platform. I'm going to use uh, super glue again, but because my marking pen, I'm going to turn it over so you can't see the marking. So I'm going to work upside down. So I'm going to put a little bit of super glue in this part of the bridge, in this part. Take my mark, line it up upside down, hold it there for a bit. And then I do the same on the other end. A little bit of super glue. My mark turn, turn it over, line it up. Okay, once that's stable, I then do again both ends of this bit of the bridge, this bit here, a little bit of super glue, and then tricky bit lining up two ends at the same time. What I have. All right. There you have the basic structure of the bridge. And what I'm going to do now is add more planks, make sure they're all the four and three quarter inches, but I'm going to start by balancing it either end there and there. Now what I'm going to do is change to PVA glue, um, just to give it, I don't, ha I don't need to hold it so quickly and it, it will bind to it just as strong. And I'll just slowly build up my planks. Okay, the bridge is coming along nicely. I've managed to stick down all my planks. Got a good strong platform. Just gonna fill in this gap here uh, with a bit of plankage. So all I'm gonna do, line it up, mark out, I've got a different pen this time. Mark out the pen gap. Trim it down. So again, the other side, line up. The gap is for the plank, mark out roughly where you need to chop it. This one needs a little bit off. A little bit of super glue that side and that side, and then drop the plank in carefully there. There you go. Okay, now I'm using my uh, 70 mil, two and three quarter inch. Uh, bits of dowel and on the base you see where it's created that little gap between I'm going to poke them in there at an angle like so another one that side and then to this end that'll create a nice slope for the bridge to hit the ground on the other side the old super glue in the spot get the right angle press it in a bit should stick fairly quickly. This again, if you've got an activator, you could do it really, really fast. Now that the supports are ready for the slope, I'm just putting some PVA on, slapping it on to get this done. I've cut out some more platforms, planks, but they're still 12 centimeters or about four and four and three quarter inches. And then on it goes. All right, time for the other end. A bit more white glue, PVA. And there. And there. I've got some pre-cut coffee stir sticks, 12 centimetres, three and four, three quarter inches. Let's place them on. Let's go all the way down. It's like... I've decided to do a little bit different both ends. I think that's the thing about touring when you're making it. 
you kind of make adjustments as you go in a roll. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the corner edge of the square post, like so, so it's tapered. Now I've sorted out my wobbly planks. Now, um, what I'm going to do, the last plank, I'm just going to use a bit of super glue because it's all wet sticky PVA going everywhere. The last plank I'm going to get in place so it doesn't slip down too far. Like so. Good thing about this PVA, I've got a little bit more time to adjust. I'm not happy with the plank's position. Right, now that my um, platform on the bridge is all dry, what I'm going to do is make sure I've got some handrails on either side. So I've got 180 mil long Coffee stir, uh, coffee stir sticks, which is about seven inches long, and I'm going to place them on the side of the bridge. Okay, let me show you what I mean. Bit of super glue, stick them on, turn it over so you can see what I mean. Boom. I'm at the bottom. One over the top. Okay. All right, next time I'll make some supports. Or well, next bit I'm gonna make some supports. So in the gap here, I'll turn the bridge over so you can see. I'm gonna cut my dowels, square dowels down to the height of the leg, to the first boundary, or arm support. So trim off the bottom, cut it to there. I'm going to do that on all of them. So I need things to cut through. Okay, next bit. I'd like them to be supports. So I would like them to be an angle from there. That support in on an angle. So what I need to do is trim the corners off at a 45 degree angle. On each of these posts. Okay. All right, what we're going to do is build supports on the side of the bridge. So if I have to hold the bridge up that way around, you can kind of see it a bit easier on the side. So, what we're going to do is have a piece of wood that sits at an angle that just fits underneath. The top support and is the same length as the other so I just need to trim the edge off there so it's the same height same length and then taper the top edge probably about a 45 degree angle so it sits underneath that top arm support all right I'll do some trimming and I'll show you what I mean okay so now that it's trimmed it'll fit just underneath there at a tapered edge in line with the base to give a bit of strength to the bridge. Then I'm going to have a cross beam just going between there and there. Another bit of down. Okay, supports are on. All right, just got to make sure you've got your angles right and it kind of works. Did a few, definitely made a few mistakes on the way, but once you get the right length and the right height, and the right angle. It looks awesome. Now, extra support, so these are my off-cut bits that went wrong. What I want to do is get the angle, how do I show you? Angle between the upright and the angled piece connected in between. Okay, so I'll balance that there. That bit there, this end will stick to the upright. I just need to make a slice the same angle as the um, the angled piece that we're coming down as a support. All right, bridge is upside down because I wanted to show you the little supports I've made in each of the gaps. Hopefully that's in focus. There's one, there's two, and you can see the other two at the other end. So I have a fully structured, structurally sound bridge. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it's quite a nice little quick one. Uh, please let me know how you get on with your make. I put some of the materials in the um, in the list below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and let me know definitely how you get on building your own bridge. Take care of yourselves. Bye.